The Legend High Titans were the home in our nine news game of the week, taking on the number two team in the state, the Pine Creek Eagles. And while being the host of the big game was something to celebrate, the Titans hosted their annual clap out tradition as a school prepared to send softball to regionals, flag football to state and their football team to our game of the week. Team, state championship, show up, show out. Dove Valley practice facility, show up. Let's get that W. Yeah. My prediction, a legend Titans, W. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. We got the best student section in the state. Yeah. And legend by 100. They disrespected us, and Pine Creek went out and made it personal. Let's go, Tyler! Yeah! Let's go, Legend! Let's go, Legend! Let's go, Legend! You're watching the... Nine News Black Valley! A lot of energy there, but let's get to the game. Undefeated Pine Creek taking on the two lost legend Titans in a big league matchup. Each and every play, take it to them. Let's go. Titans on three. One, two, three, Titans. And Pine Creek starts with it first. And the snap is high when Cameron Cooper recovers, but not before legends Noah Litzow burst off the line for a huge sack to start the game. And that'll give legend great field position. Michael Marcinich in the gun, and he lets this one fly to Riken Banks in the end zone for the first touchdown of the game, seven zip Titans. And legend gets it back. Ball on the 33 when Jaden Lawrence goes up the gut, gets out to the left, and my goodness, he is going a 67 yard house call to put the underdogs up 14 0 in the first quarter. But now to that Eagles offense in Titan territory with a pass outside to Jonathan Core, who gets out to the left and down the sideline and in for a Pine Creek touchdown 14 7 Titans. All right, so let's see if Legend can answer. Martian is back to pass when he gets rocked. The ball is out and right into the hands of Justice Nicholson for the INT, but they wouldn't convert. Meanwhile, Legend had no problem converting in the red zone. Handoff to Alex Martinez to extend the lead 21 to 7. But how about some trickery to add to that misery? Handoff. Then it's a reverse to Brian Doyle, who sends it back to the QB Marcinich in for the touchdown. 28-10 legend. And say it ain't so, legend would keep the lead throughout the game to take down the number two team in the state. We got it with legend QB Marcinich and his running back after the big win. I mean, I just saw resilience. I mean, no one believed in us, but we believe in each other. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. We got a great coaching staff, a great group of guys, and we're going to take this thing a long way. Coming into this game, we knew, we knew we were underdogs. We knew we could win this game. And, I mean, we showed it. We came ready to play, and we, we outplayed these guys. And, I mean, next week's an another big challenge with Regis. Uh, they barely lost to Pine Creek, and we just got to come in again as underdogs. We can't, we can't think high of ourselves. An upset win for legend, but I'm sure Pine Creek will bounce back. Well, over at Holy Family, the 5-1 Tigers took on the 5-1 Northfield Nighthawks, and it'll be Northfield with it first. Dean Stickles takes the handoff and just bulldozes through the Tigers for a big first down. This run attack controlled the clock, but to the first Nighthawks pass of the game, Christian Love finds Cameron Joyce fairly, and he's able to hold on to it for the first score of the game, Northfield 6-0. But now the Holy Family, Ryland Cooney in the gun. He has a little time before letting this one loose to Monte Samaras, who knocks one defender off of him, and it's a foot race. He dives in for the score, but the ref calls him out at the two. And that's when you hand it to number two. Ryland connects for the score as Holy Family takes this one 23 to 9. Over at Five Star Stadium, Legacy taking on Mullen in a big league matchup. Fourth and long for Mullen at the 53 when Koa Dietrich takes the snap and sends a dart to wide open Blaze McCarty, who gets down the sideline and in for the first touchdown of the game. All right, so Legacy 
Gets, it, gets the ball now, and it's Omari Bursey's turn in the flat. Watch this. Breaks this tackle. Gets by a few more guys until he's eventually brought down inside the 10, which would set this up. Pitch outside to Tyler Anderson, and the Lightning take the lead 7-6. And it'll be legacy again, this time. Play action in the red zone with Brayden Kirkle finds. Oh, gets up there for the score in the back of the end zone. 14-6 legacy. Second quarter now, Mullen looking to answer. Dietrich in the shotgun and sends it right into the hands of Bercy, who picks up the interception. And it's legacies. Kirk Chivo in the gun now, eyes down the field. And that's where his receiver is, Jack Winter, as he scores to put legacy up 21-6. And they take it 35-12. Let's get to some volleyball now as the Holy Family Tigers took on the Longmount Trojans. And Holy Family's Allie Ward wastes no time with the kill to keep this set within two for the home team. And it'll be Tigers again. Middle set this time, but same girl. Ward just muffs it over this time for a good point. But check this out. The serve is out. And so is the bunt when Jordan Johnson decides to just send it over. And the Tigers weren't prepared. Longmont dominant early. All right, so set point now for Longmont with Ward back to serve. Alexis Matters with a dig. And Addison Maul calls back row. What a hit. Longmont takes the game three sets to two. Well, let's move over to Green Mountain. Take it on Conifer when senior Murray Riley throws it down to put the Rams up two sets to none. But talk about a milestone. They sweep for their 23rd straight for a Jeffco League win. And before we head out, we have to send major congratulations over to the Denver North Vikings volleyball team. This week, they captured the DPS League championship over Thomas Jefferson on the road to the playoffs, which we are deep in right now in Colorado preps. It's busy season, but I have, you know, I would much rather be busy with high school sports. So yeah, it's busy I, season and Ashley Moore is busy. <laughs> yeah, another I big am. day ahead of you too for tomorrow. It is state softball, I mean, regional softball, state golf uh, was last week, state tennis is today, state flag, it's a lot going on. And then football, just a few more weeks into the playoffs, so you know, we're, uh, we're getting active out here. I will wow. say, there are not a whole lot of people that can match your energy. <laughs> But the kids, kids in that first Ooh, story, they were <laughs> they're giving you a run for your money. They are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.